Jill with Crick Flicks. And as promised, I said I would be doing a scrapbook layout. Um, I did a little bit of a... I don't, I don't remember if I screen printed this. I don't believe I did. I am doing um, a bungee jump. Not bungee jump. Oh, I can't believe I just said that. A zip line. Um, my kids all went to the Smoky Mountains for spring break and my grandkids all got to go zip lining. So I got the pictures for the memories. We did that's what prompted us to put a zip line up in my daughter's yard this summer. It's just exhilarating. It is so much fun. And uh, we already made reservations to go again at, at uh, spring break in 2019. However, I am going and Papa are going and we're going to make it a real vacation. So, okay, I'm just trimming that quarter of an inch edge off that for some reason when when Basil sold whoever they sold their paper to, found it necessary to change it and put, yeah, it's still called Basil, but I do know it was sold and I do know that they added that quarter of an inch and it's a pain, but I deal with it. I'm using wood grain papers here. I've got this blue uh, wood, what can I say, it's wood, and this kind of a gray tone. And then we have kind of a washed white wall with a little bit of a turquoise over it, or teal, aqua. I'm going to call that one aqua. And then these two, that are the colors kind of combined in a pattern. And I'm looking to try and see where you can see them. I think that I'm going to use these two as my background. And I don't know what else I'm going to do here. Let me see what I've got here for pictures. So... Uh, this is what I was talking about in a couple videos. I mentioned that I, I've got a stack started here of layouts that I'm going to be working on. I got all my elements ready and uh, pictures that I'm going to be using. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh, oh, my grandson's so cute. I'm going to use that on one. I don't even know. I'm not going to map these pictures. I don't believe they need it. I don't think that I will. And, and the horrible noise behind this is a bulldozer. They are redoing our streets, repaving. These are mountains. So I have this upside down. It just dawned on me now. These are mountain peaks. Um, they come along and they tell you when they need to replace part of your, your sidewalk. And they do come to tell you because you get to pay for it on your taxes. So that's what they've been working on, and they took it, the, the old concrete out a couple weeks ago, but they just stuck the new concrete back, now last week or not very long, it was, and they completely destroyed our landscaping in the front. So my husband went out there and said something to the guy where they planned on fixing it, and he said, no, we just tear it down, it's your responsibility to fix it. And my husband's attitude was a little bit, I don't think so. And I don't, I mean, it wasn't the guy that was telling him. It wasn't his fault. He just doing his job. But he did express he was not happy about it. And what I think happened was that the guys that were out there doing what they were doing, they weren't the ones that were going to be fixing it. It would be another team. That's what I'm saying happened because a couple days later they were out there fixing it. And laying down uh, seed and, and some hay and some netting and all this so and I've seen it in other houses because they did the whole my whole entire neighborhood they went in and tore out the the bad sunken cracks cracked pieces of concrete I will say it makes it easier to pay my taxes without an attitude when I see the tremendous work that they put in, keeping everything so neat, and I don't know what to call it besides neat. Okay, guys, these are going to be super, super sense simple layouts. Um, trying to figure out, i got two sets of trees here. 
I did take a shot of the pictures and I will load them. So now I cannot do a page that doesn't have some sort of layer on it. It's not in me to do it, guys. So I know there's peaks, the mountains back here, but I can't do it. I tried, but I, I cannot do it. I have to have layers of some sort. So I am just, I'm not going to mat the photos, as I said. Uh, matting them sometimes, depending on your background papers, but sometimes the matting of your photos, um, it can take away, take too much of your paper. And probably this is one of those that whatever I'm doing now, which I don't know what it is, will probably have the same effect. It's going to take away the the whatever it is in the back. And I, this is going to have to be on this side because... So, okay, I'm going to... Yes, I hear you. I'm, I'm filming. My husband is going to get my grandson who didn't want to run with his sisters to ballet and gymnastics and sit out in the waiting room. So he called us to see if we would take him, pick him up. And we're going out for dinner. So I said, yes, we will pick him up and he wants to dinner with us. So that's where my husband's heading. And after we hung up the phone, my grandson called back to say, can one of you come and get me now and come in the Corvette? Well, I don't like to ride in the Corvette with the, the roof down. And my husband does. And my seven-year-old grandson does. And my husband's been trying to finish up his shed desperately. But I... Oh, that's not tight. That's not good. Um, I would have been more than happy to pick him up. But, as I said, I don't ride with the top down. Uh, once in a while I do. Why is this not working? Why does this keep giving in? It's going to make me crazy. I met with uh, my mother's um, facility. I had to meet with the nurse, head of the nursing there and a couple of the people in admin or whatever and met to go on uh, about my mother and where she's at with her her situation uh, her living situation I guess you'd call it and concluded after talking for a couple hours that we're going to have to move my mother into another um she can live assisted, but the, she's on second floor right now, and we're going to move it down the first floor that is set up for when a, a resident transitions into the next phase, I guess they call it. Um, she's been going downhill with the dementia and the paranoia, and, and as I've mentioned, she's on numerous medications for that, but she's starting to get a little bit disruptive for the other residents, and there's one particular resident is afraid of her um, and so she would never hurt anybody but she went to apologize for, to this woman for something that she thought she did and when she got down there and found the woman the woman um, was apparently deep in conversation and hanging out with two men that my mother thought were trying to kill her so she was mad um, these are hallucinations these are the paranoia these aren't real things but they're real to her and she gave that resident a piece of her mind. And now that resident, and I'm not laughing because it's funny. I'm laughing because there's not much more I can do at this point. It is what it is. I'll do what I have to do. Okay, guys, what I just did is I cut these peaks out on of those mountains with an X-Acto knife or a craft knife or whatever, it's all sort of blade. I don't know. And I put this magazine underneath it because my table is damaged as it is. It isn't a self-healing mat. So when I cut on it with blades, it gets all chopped up. What do you think I'm going to do? Guys, I'm going to do something different here. I'm going to take yet another technique. If I can find the tool, I'm going to put you on pause for a minute so I can find the tool because there's something I want to do here. Oh, I found it found it. I am going to distress 
my edges with it's called Distress It It All made by Sutter. And I used to do all of these things years ago um, when I first started crafting and started adding tools to my collection. Uh, and so I've done a little bit of everything. And I have let a lot of things go by the wayside. So I think I'm going to grab a Distress Ink by... Ranger, and I'm going to take the color of Vintage Photo, and I am going to distress this, and it's going to be very, very loud. I'm going to put a waste basket here because it's not only loud, it's very messy and dirty. So I'm going to take this little machine, and it has a blade in there, and it's going to tear up, tear up the edges of my paper. I want this rustic. It's outdoor rustic. So... It'll be just a second here as I do this. You can hear it as I pull my paper through. There we go. I pull one edge. Now. Here's the unfair thing. I just did that and you probably couldn't see any of it. You could only hear it. But you ha whenever you're going to do this, it's called Distress It All. That's D-I-S-T-R-E-Z-Z -Z hyphen it hyphen all. Made by Sutter. And if I remember, I will add this link or this the name of this as I play around with my iMovie because I'm learning how to put the titles in. And I'm not doing real good on it, guys. But you're always going to want to do it over a trash because it's very messy. And what it did is it tore apart. You can see better from the back, but it tore apart and roughed up all my edges to give it a, dis a distressed look. Now what I'm going to do, these are in my videos from years ago. I don't even know. I wouldn't even be able to begin to know where I might find those videos. And I'm going to take this Ranger's ink and I'm going to go around the edge of my distressed page and add ink because this is white core paper and it kind of works nice on white core paper to use inks on them. And then I'm just going to kind of throw a little blotches of ink on it. Then, I'm going to take that puppy and slide it under here to use it for my photo mat for my zip line. But I'm liking it. I'm telling you it is simple. There's not going to be a lot in this layout, but it doesn't always have to... Uh, look like a Disney production or something. Ooh, my ink wasn't dry, so my hands are probably going to be all inky. And let me pop it under there again. And I'm going to kind of even out where I lay it. The glitter is catching on my sweater. Okay. Now, I'm going to pop dot the tips of each one of these mountain tops just so that you can get a little bit more on um, the dimension that I'm looking for. I want this, since it's not going to have much on it, I at least want it to have some um, either layers looking or dimension. <laughs> I cannot believe I just said that. Dimension not dementia. Dimension. I think I've got that on my mind because I spent two hours with these folks this morning um, hashing over my mother's, where my mother's state is. Um, I said we were moving her. It's someplace you eventually have to move anyway and it's a catch of whether moving her now which is going to just make her further confused and disoriented or wait 
till later. She's going to have to anyway. And the nurse, we all voted for doing it now. And just she'll be ready if from one day to the next she requires more help. She is requiring more all the time. Um, and, you know, those all those people that have been praying for her, because I talk about it in every video, uh, I appreciate it greatly. And I'm hoping that this isn't something that's going to go on forever for her because she's just miserable. I'm thinking, too, is on the first floor of the, the, the assisted living facility is has a gated area outside, kind of like a park. And... You, you have all the common areas where they have their their games and their music dances. They have all this stuff going on at this place. And her her apartment would be right there on the first floor where all the action is. So I'm hoping that will help her. Um, you know, there's, there's no cure, but to make her as comfortable and as happy as we can makes me happy. Okay, I'm going to go back to this and pop dotting the little elements that I got here. This package for the elements I kind of had put together myself because um, zip line is not a big demand in clip art. At least nothing that I could find. Okay, so so far this is what I have. And I went and put tape all the way across the back here. So there's tape that is not taped to anything because they cut the mountains out. So I'm going to have to put a piece of paper over that so it doesn't stick to the pit when I stack them. I was uh, putting down a rug yesterday and pulling out my boxes that are underneath my bed that are full of scrapbook pages and I have three boxes. Boxes full. When you pick one of them up it feels like a box of books. And I started another pack. I, I don't realize how many have done. So what I've decided to do, give me your thoughts on this. For each of my kids for Christmas, what I thought would be really cool to do, either have uh, a couple years of their books done, or I thought about for each one of my kids going back to the early 1800s, which I have pictures for my family, and make them a book that would have their whole heritage, but make it short and sweet. I wouldn't be as elaborate on it as I, I mean, I wouldn't make 15 pages um, when they were two. I would make a single layout going all the way back through my childhood and my husband's childhood and their childhood, all in a nutshell. Um, I'm going to go and do number two here, and now I don't mean in the bathroom. I'm referring to my paper, if anybody in there remembers that from 50 years ago when that's what we called it. Okay. Also, with this little machine that I forgot to mention, is the direction in which you pull the paper comes into play on how distressed your paper is going to be. If you go one direction with the grain of the, the, the wheel or, or chopper thing that tears it up, it'll be one direction will be a little smoother because the blade's going um, with the points pointing that way. If you go against it with the blade, they'll <laughs> It'll tear it up more. And I have no idea if I <laughs> explained that or not. I'm laughing because I'm thinking of my mother and her explaining things and me getting so frustrated and thinking, oh, I'm just like that. And handy, handy is to have wipes with you at all times. 
They are an, a craft room's best friend. Now, I suppose I could do pretty much the same thing over here, and I'm going to do it on the center, just because I want it different. What to do with the magazine? There we go. Oh, I should be cutting that up. It's the fall wardrobe. I put that in here to read it, and then I just cut it up. Hope I didn't cut the pages I would be looking at. Okay, let's see here. There we go. And I'm going to do the center one. And I want the center one to go center left. So I'm going to cut this side. It's not going to be smack dab in the middle. So most of you know how I feel about everything being just perfect. Okay. Now let me see what I got. Oops. There we go. And you know, I didn't think about this when I was doing it, so I didn't think about doing it in this fashion. Had I, I could have made this slice um, on the paper before I cut it out, because on the Silhouette software, I could have cut these pieces out. Just let you know, not cut them out, but um, put those slits in them, just exactly like I just did. But since I never know what I'm going to be doing with it until I'm working on it, I don't think, think about it a lot. I just do it. And I'm going to need to go, I'm going to go that route. I'm just going to go to the left, I'm going to go left. I don't know, I'm going to go right. I'm going to go deep. Deep. Deeper. There we go. There we go. And it's crooked. And it's crooked. Now, if it was off a hair, I'd be okay with that, but it's not. It's off two hairs. So, I'm going to re-stick it. Since it's already distressed looking, my pulling it up just adds some wrinkle and some stress. So, it looks just a little bit more distressed. Okay, round two, it worked. At least enough for me. Okay, and the reason I like to wipe my hands between layering when I'm doing this is because you will get ink on your hands unless you lay your papers out to dry after you distress them. They dry pretty quick, but I do not waste time waiting for it to dry. So, I just have to make sure I don't have ink on my hands because I don't want it all over everything. All right, we're going to go that route, and then we have Zip Line Adventures. Uh, again, this was some just pictures I typed in um, Zip Line Clip Art. And this was kind of nice because these were free downloads, but of course there's only like four pieces to pick from, if that. So it wasn't a huge investment. But, you know... A uh, family that zip lines together stays together. Zip lining is really fun. I don't know if I told this on one of my other videos, but I went on the one. We have two at my daughter's because she has a huge yard and tree. She lives in a log home. And we put them up for the kids. So we have the big tall one that my son-in-law built a uh, like a tree stand or a, I don't know, I built it up in the top of the tree to run the zip line and to get up there. Um, I'd gotten them up for their birthdays, a, a rope, a rope um, ladder with logs on it to, that they put up on the side of this thing that he built where the zip line goes. It's just awesome. And so I went on it and it was in the very beginning of the hotter weather. And my, my, my grandkids were all playing on it and having a balloon fight while they were doing it. And I went on it and didn't realize my son was waiting for me getting towards the bottom and nailed me with the water balloon when I got down the bottom. When I went down the first zip line, the short one, uh, <laughs> my son-in-law didn't anchor it correctly and I fell off or the rope broke right in the middle and I fell in a mud puddle or in a big, it wasn't a mud puddle because it wasn't a puddle, it was just mud. <clears throat> But it was for a good laugh. They had fun laughing and filming. 
my husband was filming that one. No, he didn't. He had, he was in charge of the camera, and he didn't film. He said, oh, I missed that one. And I thought, oh, that's sad. You missed it. <gasps> you know what, guys? These are super, super simple. You saw how I did it. It's just extremely easy to do. And I don't know how well you can see the inking around the distress, the ruffled up paper, the, the, the popping of the mountains. I can't tell how much is showing on the camera, but I love them. I think they look awesome. Nothing like tooting my own horn, but I do. I think they look awesome. And I don't want to lose all of my paper, as I said. So I'm going to take... Wyatt and throw them off of the page and you don't need I just don't want to lose that beautiful smile there oh I can't get enough of these kids they are the best the absolute best <gasps> my babies oh my gosh they were so excited to do this zip lining in the mountains I'm going to do it next year. We're going to go hiking, and I'm going to go hiking. I'm going to do one thing on my bucket list um, that I've just started. didn't realize I needed one, but uh, for some reason I've come to a rude awakening that I am not going to live forever, and I want to make sure there's some things that I've never done. Scuba diving was on there, and I did go scuba diving. And it was one of the most memorable things I have ever done in my life. It was awesome. And I would love to go again. I was going to take scuba lessons with my husband so that we could go out in the real deep sea. But we went scuba diving with my brother who passed away. So we didn't, we didn't expand on that anymore. We were done. Okay, I didn't leave room for my trees. So, these trees are going to be up in the mountains. How do you like that? And I'm going to put, I'm going to weave them in and out of the picture. Because I don't want them covering that beautiful little face of my grandson. So, I'm going to weave it in and out of there. And then, I will I'm going to take a little glue. I don't want to pop dot these. Because I already have part that's popping. So I'm going to put a little of my, this is called the um, art glitter adhesive and it's dries clear and I love it because it's got this little tiny itty bitty metal tip that I can't seem to get the pin in because um, it's so tiny. I can't remember who recommended that to me, and I absolutely love it. I'm gonna. I brought up something in my uh, earlier video of the person that sent me the magnet um, sheets to cut on, to print and cut on. I can't remember. I can't find your message or your our conversation back and forth. I can't find it. So please let me know if you're watching this. Please let me know who you are. I got it, but I need now to, to have the images that I'm supposed to be printing, and I'm anxious to use that. I'm gonna I'm gonna use that as a video on um, magnet printing. I think you said print and cut. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, print and cut on a wide. It's. I don't think the sheets are. I don't know. Anyway, I got them. I have the sheets, and they're just waiting to be used. Oh man, I'm using my smaller gun now because these pieces, and this is what my son-in-law built. He built one just like that. And they have some of these great big huge pine trees that we put the zip line on, the big one. The one that I Guys, I just wanna say I have no idea when the camera stopped as I was telling my stories and I'm not gonna listen to find out, I don't care. Um, this packet, I will show the pictures, will come with the plain color papers and the printed papers and you can do what you want with them. Um, if you do kind of like what I did, you could probably get more 
maybe two 12 inch lay, two complete layouts done. Um, I did end up putting the second set of trees over here. I pop dotted them so I got a little bit dementia going. <sighs> dimension. Dimension. That's the right word. Why do I keep. Well, anyway, gives it dimension. Um, I think. Okay. Eh, whatever. Okay, I'll get some pictures, get this loaded up, and I most likely, between this video and one that I'm that I'm uploading right now, they will be a trailer with pictures of my corsets and hats. And um, the next thing I'm going to be working on is the Greatest Showman. Um, it will consist of six two-foot pieces, but I will be doing a bunch of... Um, embellishments that I, I'm experimenting with, with some new ideas, some, something different. I think it's really going to be fun. That may entail a few different shots uh, filming because I think it's going to take me a while to get it done. I've got all sorts of ideas and so it might be a little bit long. How did that get cut off? But anyway, that's it and thank you very much and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.